Just as we can differentiate power series term by term, we can integrate power series term by term. And this is vitally important. Power series are the only way that we can compute many important integrals. So let's first see the statement that we can integrate term by term written down. And then let's look at a concrete example. You don't need to know this name, but the Fresnel integral, which I might to be mispronouncing is the integral of the sine of t squared dt. This integral appears in optics. It's not some obscure mathematical creation. It appears in applied problems. Unfortunately, the sine of t squared doesn't have an elementary antiderivative. We can't use any of the techniques we learned in this class to take this integral. However, as of next section, we will be able to write the sine of t squared as a power series. So skipping ahead a little, here are the first few terms of the power series that equals this function. So now we can compute this integral piece by piece. We integrate t squared in the normal way. We integrate t to the sixth in the normal way, we integrate t to the 10th. In the normal way, integrate t to the 14th. In the normal way, And these are the first few terms of this integral. And I suppose even though this sum is infinite, if it's an improper integral, it gets its limit of integration.